What is good, Craig Gang? We're here today. We're with Bingo. And Ringo brought one of his favorite toys today. He brought a Mosin the Gun. Do you know if this is like a Chinese or what originate? I don't it's, know. It's uh, made in 1954 China. And it shoots these massive. This is a 7.62 by 54. Now the AK-47, it also shoots a 7.62, but it shoots a 7.62 by 39. And what that is, it's basically, basically the length. And if you've not figured it out yet... This, this is a whole lot bigger than an AK. It's got an internal magazine. As you can see, he's loading it down right there. Here you go. He's just like, well, I don't know. Loading it. Yeah. How many does it hold? And it does have a bayonet as well. I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll just take our best shots right there. Wait, let me put my ear in. And Bingo said that this gun is very loud, which I believe him. And he also says it kicks hard, which I believe it kicks hard because one, it's big round. And it's a metal butt pad. There is no sponge right there. That's just a block of metal. Wait, it's old. Yeah. When you reload it, it's hard. So. There we go. Put your best shot right there on that barrel. Really doesn't matter where you hit it. As long as you get decently close, I guess. Oh my gosh. That's a big gun. Hit it another shot. Oh my gosh. That is a big gun. I can feel it. It shakes the ground, dude. You want to try? Yeah, here you go. There's no safety. There's no safety? No safety. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How you do this? Just whack it up? Yeah, just whack it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that if I was in war right now, I'd be trying to get behind something. <laughs> I can't even work the boat. We should just really be happy that we're not in the middle of Vietnam right now. I feel like this is a common problem with Mosin and Nagans though, because I've seen people have to whack them before. So how old is it, did you say? When was it made? 1956. Yeah, 19, I believe it's showing us today. Yeah. It's letting us know its age. It's older than Mammy. Actually, I don't think it is older than Mammy. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, it's definitely not older than Mammy. Mammy outlives this gun. Which is pretty insane. And we have still not got the shell out. We got all the live ammo out though. Yeah, there's all the live ammo. We it's shot it out. I got it. Now let's just see. I'm going to put one more in it. And then I'm going to rack it down one more time. We'll just... Okay. Now I'll shoot it this time. Make sure it's going to work. Here we go. You can feel the rim off of the side. Yeah, you just gotta whack it real hard and it'll do it. That's pretty good though. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's go check out the barrel. But now that we've shot the barrel up, we've we broke it in. We're both used to shooting it. Now we know what's coming. We're gonna fill up two milk jugs and like basically with water and then just like make them explode. Like I know there's just there's not nothing in the barrel. Like I mean there's not a fire. It's nothing but ashes, but just how bad it shakes it, it's already like doing all this. Yeah, you can definitely see the Mosin. That's the Mosin, that's the Mosin, that's the Mosin, that's the Mosin. All the smaller ones, that's just a standard little 22 long rifle. So now, guys, as you can see, two milk jugs. We're both going to shoot one apiece, and we're going to go ahead and load it again. It is an internal magazine. It's pretty cool. Just loads it in there, just sticks it in, pushes it down, gets another one, and boom, you're good to go. Just take your shot right there at the left milk jug, and then I'll take my shot at the right one. Bingo, you missed it. Come on now, make this one count. Yep, you hit it that time. Here you go. <laughs> it's doing it again. Is it? Oh, you're just. I'm gonna take out the right one. You missed. Above it. You hit mine. <laughs> oh, I thought the last bullet was smart. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's go look at it. Now, it definitely took me a few extra shots to hit that. My first shot, I just missed completely. Then I figured I should hold down. Then I hit like right here on the gravels and it sprayed everywhere. And then finally I hit directly where I was trying to. And that is the result. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You got guts coming out of that. Place. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what's, what's going on with that one. So what are your thoughts, Bingo? If you was going into war today, would you take a Mosin the gun? Probably. You would? I wouldn't, because I'd get out there, shoot one shot, and then I couldn't probably, I probably couldn't rack the bolt. It's a little tricky, but after we, you know, put some muscle into it, we got it. So you've all seen it in the video games, people. <laughs>
We're gonna see how long it actually takes to load, you know, a Mose in the gun. Right now, I'm gonna pop up a clip of a video game. But then right here is my attempt. Was that as fast as the video game? It was pretty fast. I think if I was a nom, I'd be doing pretty good. Okay, I definitely hit it that time. There's smoke coming out of wood somehow. I'm going to have to get me a Mose in the Gaunt, guys. I'm going to have to get me one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a little bit of black powder come back in my mouth that time. Yeah, that's a, uh, we don't want to be doing that whenever we got people shooting at us. A little bit quicker, Sergeant. A little bit, a <laughs> little bit quicker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem, soldier, brother, bruh. I see wood went flying. Do you need another tactical friendly reload? <laughs> I need another. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I believe that's it, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Give it a good whack. Hit it like you mean it. Hit it like it stole your honey bun. One, yeah, two, we hit three, it. Three, four times. We hit it a solid four times. One, two, three, four. Now those two, those two are really close together. I would hope. And of course, the bank back here behind is just shredded. But one thing we've already said this, but Bingo's uh, Mosin the Gaunt, he has a bayonet on it. So, I mean, I don't, we're gonna let Bingo show us what a bayonet can do. Got the thing clear. Don't worry, guys. We're not gonna shoot the bow target, but we are gonna stab it. No doubt we are gonna stab it. That is scary, dude. That's a 12-inch bayonet. Yeah, for real. That is... Imagine, well, I don't know. Most of y'all probably played Battlefield 1 or at least watched gameplay. You know what they do. But we're gonna test it out. Oh, whoa! Oh, Bingo! I was at least gonna stand it up first. The hurricane has fulfilled her duties. And we have moved on to a bumblebee or whatever the other target is. I think it might go through the other side. I'd, I'd say it will. All right, get him, get him, go, go, go. <laughs> well, you hit the liver. I'm not gonna, he's not gonna die instantly. It is a liver shot, but you did kill him. Now let me see what I can do to Bucky simulation. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is a shock wave and a half. So now what we're going to do is because the Mosin the Gaunt is basically like almost a sniper rifle and it even was used as a sniper rifle, we're going to get it out a little bit farther than, we're going to try to get it out a little bit farther than the 20 yards we were shooting a few minutes ago. Now we're only at about 100 yards now, but you see that big rock up there on the mountain? Like the only thing that's like not covered up by trees? But that's what we're going to shoot at. We're just going to shoot it and see where the dust flies. Shoot it whenever you're ready. See, right there, we could, saw, we could see the dust fly. Is that pretty well where you were aiming? It was because it's got like these little AK sites to where you can sort of like move them in and out, like you know, just change your distance. You need another friendly reload. I had it. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, Binko, you just gotta hit it. Here you go. I've been hitting it. Apparently not. Now let's hit that boulder. Fire in the hole. You missed the rock. I looked through the trees though. Oh, did it? Fire! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, Bingo's heading home now. If you want to see more Mose in the Gaunt videos or just any gun videos in general, hit the like button for me. If we can get so many likes, like I don't know how many, but if we can get, a, but if we can get quite a few, bro, like we'll do a lot of shooting videos. It's whatever you guys want, cause we sure like shooting videos. Don't you? I love it. It's fun. If you want merch, buy it at kindlegrade1.com. Besides that, I'll see you later. Hey guys, my name is Avery Dunaway. Uh, thank you for watching Kindle, Kindle Gray. And uh, if you want some of the sweet merch like this hat and this shirt, go to kindlegrade1.com. It comes with these stickers. 
And yeah, go follow him on Instagram at Kendall Gray Worm. And yeah, I'm out.